how do you trade on the Solana blockchain? So you probably heard of those new and exciting projects that are exploding on the Solana blockchain, be it Sunny or Rin or whatever that's out there. How do you trade them? How do you get access to them? And of course, what is the best way to leverage the trading situation. And, and let's just clear one point of confusion first, because I got asked this by one of our writers as well when we're trying to make this video, which is like, which <laughs> interface do we use? There's Bonfido, Radium, Mango Markets, Aldrin. They're, why is it so confusing? Which is the real Serum? It turns out they're all the real Serum. The way to view it is that Serum is a technology back end for everything that's happening. And a lot of these exchanges are the front ends. They're kind of like the interface and they're all kind of competing to make a better user experience. So what we've done in this video is we've picked out two of the best experiences we have so far. So one is with Radium and the other one is with Aldrin. These are all kind of just using Project Serum, but at the same time, they have their own kind of flair and flavor to everything going on. So I hope that clears a lot of confusion out there. And obviously, of course, if you like videos like this, make sure you're subscribed to this channel. Click the subscribe button down below. And if you found this guide useful, make sure you click the like button as well. It really does help this channel grow and of course share with your friends too. I really hope that they can join on this ecosystem too. So let's start with the easiest option first of all, which is just using the one click button on Radium. So I'm gonna click Radium here. I'll put a link down below too if you just want the direct website and I'm gonna click swap on this interface. So once I click swap, I need to connect a wallet. Now, this guide, in this guide, I'm assuming that you've already made your phantom wallet. If you haven't done so already, just click the top button up here. I'll take you to a guide where I teach you through how to use the phantom wallet. But honestly, this is probably the easiest wallet to use and the best solution. And this is the cleanest solution. It's 2022 right now. Serum's a lot more easy to use with phantom there. So connecting to Phantom, I got my wallet there and you can actually see the coins in my wallet. So right now I currently have 26 Solana and 137 USDC. Now let's just say, for example, I just want to buy some Solana. Let's say, for example, I have some USDC here. I, right now it's, I seems to be cheap for Solana. Let me just go and buy. Now you have some familiar buttons here. You can do half, max, or you can just enter the amount you want. Let me just say I want $30 worth of this. I'm gonna get, get, get a quotation for the price. And I'm also gonna look at something important here, which is the price impact. So typically speaking, when I trade, I want minimal price impact. If the price impact is one or 2%, I really need to reconsider my options here. This is extremely important for smaller coins. So smaller, lower cap coins, if you see a slippage of two or 3%, usually I will say, no, 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 I'm not gonna accept that. I'm not gonna trade. I'm going to do something else. Check out the, just keep watching. The advanced guy will tell you how to do with deal with that. But in this case, it's perfectly fine. This price impact is 0.01%. It's negligible. I'm just going to click the button and it's just going to go. So yeah, that's pretty much self-explanatory. The wallet will pop up with the approval and I'm just going to click approve. If you have a Ledger Nano X and you're using it with Phantom Wallet, you're expected to confirm the transaction at this point. But you know, for me, I just have a direct wallet connection. So anyways, that's transaction complete. My solo, uh, my transaction is done. Now there comes to be a few situations that may make things a little bit complicated. Say for example, you don't see the coin you want here. You want to have more access. You want to have the full fat, full version of the Serum Exchange to ask, access all the coins. And of course to set limit orders. Well. Jemmy is going to teach you the next step of how to set limit orders on Serum Exchange. So what I'm going to show you is to actually go to trade and let's look at Solana. You can search Solana, S-O-L, trade to USDC. So there you go. We are looking at Solana to USDC and this is your order book. I like to look at the order book as well because it tells me what other traders are doing and you can see all the current buy and sell activities. So for example, this person is trying to sell Solana at $140, selling to Solana a total of $280. And well, this person right here, however, is trying to buy Solana at the price of $140. He's trying to buy 0.1 Solana, so the total price will be 14 US dollars. Well, you can also see different bars on each order and this is the longer bar and this is the shorter bar. Why why there's different length is because, well, this person is trying to sell less Solana. This person is trying to sell more Solana. That's why this person has a longer bar. Well, as you can see, there are two tabs on the bottom right 
it, you can either limit order or market order. By selecting market order for either buying or selling, you choose to execute order on the current price. Keep in mind, it may fluctuate depending on the spread of the market. I want to add a note here that limit orders are extremely important when the spread between the buy and the sell are extremely high. Sometimes you might even see 5-10% here. So that means that if you're going to just like randomly click a buy button on the simple exchange, you might lose maybe 3-4% on slippage. So a lot of times if this is the case, what I tend to do is I set a limit order and I wait for my order to get filled at much more closer to market price. So that just makes my life, or at least that makes me feel a lot better because I'm saving on that transaction. I'm not getting ripped off on this deal. So right now I'm gonna show you how to market sell some of my Solana into USDC. And since I have 0 0.2 Solana, I want to sell only 0 0.1 Solana. One thing that you wouldn't be too familiar if you have been trading on centralized exchanges. Well, on DEXs, you have to settle and make approval that will put your tokens back into your wallet. Just like, well, on MetaMask, you have to approve all of your transactions. This is because your funds are on an additional trading account and need to be given permission to add back to your wallet. So what I want to do is to click settle all and approve your transaction and this will do the work. And voila, you'll be able to see your USDC fund on your Phantom wallet. Well, next up, I want to show you how to limit buy some of the ring token with my USDC. So what I would like to do is go to the top and type ring. So here we go, we are on the ring market and it's trading at $1.68. Well, I'm trying to limit buy it. So it's gonna be on the green side right here. The current price is $1.68. I'm gonna go a little bit lower. Maybe I'll put it $1.675 and I'm gonna buy with all of my USDC. Once you're happy with everything, click buy. As you can see, the transaction is still pending. You have to wait for the confirmation. Hit approve. Well, right now, if you go to the open order tabs, you can see my open order. I'm trying to buy green token with my USDC at the price of $1.675 and trying to buy 8.383 green tokens. So total value will be roughly 14 US dollars. If you, however, want to cancel your order for some reason, you can do so prior to the execution. So if I want to cancel right now, I can just hit cancel and approve. Once again, you would have to settle your balance. I can just click settle all and that will do the job. You can see your money back on your phantom wallet and voila, your money is back here. Next up, what I would like to show you is to stick some of the ring token to earn some of the passive income. Well, as you can see, the APR is right here is 31%. Well, the APR does fluctuate. Right now, you can see there's a 10% plus 21%. So the first APR is calculated based on fixed treasury rewards. And the second APR is calculated based on the current RIN price and the average AMM fees. What you also have to know is that then an hour lockup period from the time you deposit your money. So you wouldn't be able to withdraw your money immediately after you stake your token so you just need to be aware of that. Second thing you need to be aware is the sticking rewards. They are paid every 27th of the month. If you are okay with everything and you still want to proceed with your staking, well, what you want to do is to stick your ring. I will want to stick all of my ring tokens. I'll click max. If you want to adjust um, the amount of ring token you stake, you can just click half or you can change the number here to your desired amount, but I'm just gonna click max. When you're happy with everything, click stick and approve your transaction once again. Wait for the confirmation. So you're successfully sticking, so you can check your total stick amount right here. All right, that about 
covers it for everything that we want to cover here on trading on Solana. So just in brief, we covered how to do the simple way of trading. We talked about some advanced trading features and of course, how to really just benefit and min max out that trade if you really want to push to advanced mode. Now, if you want to cover any additional information on how to use Phantom Wallet or how to familiarize with yourself with the Solana ecosystem, make sure you check out our videos here. And if you guys like this video, make sure you click the like button and the subscribe button down below. See you next video.